class. Welcome to today's math lesson. We are working on lesson 118 from our Saxon book four. This lesson is dividing by two digit numbers. Okay, so you all know how to do long division. This is not really that confusing to you, except we've changed this. Now, instead of dividing 95 by three, we're gonna divide it by 31. So, in order to help us, we're going to use estimation because really I don't want to count by 31 and try to get to 95. I could in this case, but we're going to have some problems that is like, oh my gosh, I don't want to count by that. So, I'm going to teach you with these simple problems how to use estimation. So, I know that 30 goes into 90 three times. So I'm gonna guess that 31 probably goes into 95 three times two. So I'll start with that. 30's not gonna go into nine. So I definitely wanna put my X there and I'm gonna guess three right there. So now I get to check my answer by using my multiplication step. Three times one is, Nyla? Um, three. And then three times three is? Nine. Nine. Can I subtract 93 from 95? I sure can, so that was a good guess. Five minus three is two. Can I make a group of 31 if I only have two left over? No, so two becomes my remainder. And there's the answer, three remainder two. Okay, we're gonna try that again here with this problem. So, does 43 go into two? Mm -mm. No, definitely not. Does 43 go into 24? No. No, definitely not, this is less. So, I have to figure out, gee, how many times does 43 go into 246? I don't want to count by 43 that many times. So I'm gonna estimate, I'm gonna say, well, that's about 40. So how many times would 43 go into 240? I'm sorry, not 43. How many times does 40 go into 240? So I can look at that if I have 240 divided by 40. See my two zeros? I can ignore them and say how many times does 4 go into 24? Mm -hmm. That would be 6. That would be 6 times. So that's my first guess up here. I'm gonna put a six. What is six times three? That is, um, just a minute, 18. That is 18. So I put my eight here and I carry my one over above the tens. Just as if I were doing 43 times six this way. I would put an eight here and I would carry my one above the four. So it's the same concept, I just carry it over my four there. Okay, so now what's six times four? That would be... We need to practice your facts. Mm -hmm. What's six times four, Nyla? 24. 24 plus one? 25. 25. Now, can I take 258 away from 246? So sometimes when we're using this estimation strategy, this happens and we go, uh-oh, this number's bigger. That means I can't make six groups of 43. But I have some good information here because if I can't make six groups, I can definitely make five because I wasn't that much over. So instead of a six, we'll do a five, and then we multiply again. Nyla, five times three? Five times three, 15. 15, carry my one. Five times four? Five times four, 20. Plus one? 21. And now can I subtract? Mm -hmm. Yes, now I can subtract. Six minus five, four minus one. So this remainder is less than my divisor, so it works, that's gonna be my remainder. It's a big remainder, but when I'm trying to make groups of 43, sometimes we might end up with a lot of leftovers. Big remainder there, okay? Sometimes you might have to use this skill for a word problem, so we're gonna practice that now. 
487 students will be assigned to classrooms. Okay? So that the average number of students in each room is 21. So 21 students per room. How many classrooms of students will there be? Well, what kind of problem is this, Nyla? That is... Are we going to add? No. Are we going to subtract? Divide. We're going to divide. It's a division problem. We have 487 total students, so that number goes under our house here. And then we want to turn these students into groups of 21 because we want to put 21 kids in a class. So we're dividing by 21. Does 21 go into 4? Nope, definitely not. Does 21 go into 48? Yes, we can round to figure out how many times. Instead of 21, let's look at that as 20. And how many times would 20 go into 40? Two. Two times. So we'll try a two first. What's two times one? Two times one is two. And two times two? Three. Okay, can we subtract? Uh -huh. Yes, we can. And then we drop our seven, and then we do it again. How many times does 20 go into 60? Three. Three times. So we try that. Three times one? is three and three times two is six and we can subtract four. so we get a remainder of four but this is a word problem so 23 remainder four what does that mean well how many classrooms are we going to have are we going to need total mm. if we put 21 so, students in a class we Classrooms. We will need 23 classrooms. Will all of those classrooms have exactly 21 students in them? Mm -mm. No, because what we have here is four leftover students. So we'll have 23 classrooms and maybe 19 of them have 21 students because 23 minus 19 gives me four leftover classrooms, then I could put one, left, one extra student in each class. So I would have 19 classrooms with 21 students, and then I'd have four classrooms with 22 students. Mm -hmm. Okay, something like that. So with a word problem, you have to really look at what it's asking for because it can get confusing. So, this one says how many classrooms of students will there be? So this is the number that we're looking for. It does not ask will there be exactly 21 kids in each classroom. So we got it. Okay? Okay, I have a couple of practice problems for you. Practice your dividing by two digit number skill. So we have 128 divided by 32 this part practice problem a b is 90 divided by 21 c is 68 divided by 25 d is 250 divided by 42, E is 880, divided by 41, and F is 555, divided by 11, okay? If you would like to pause the video right now, you can give these a try on your own and then hit play and we'll go over the answers together. All right, Nyla, 32 into 128 here. Does 32 go into one? 
If I have no. a group of one, can I make 32? Nope. Can 32 go into 12? No. Nope. So 32 going into 128. We went around 30 into 120. How many times? That would be four times. That would be four. So we'll try four first. What's four times two? Four times two is um, eight. And four times three? No remainder. Answer is four. All right, 21 into 90 here. How many times would 20 go into 90? How many times would 20 go into 94? It would go in four times. So should I put my four here? Why not? Well, because that's where the nine is, so you need to put it over the zero. 21 doesn't go into nine, but it might go into 90 about four times. So four times one is four. And four times two? Is eight, but we can And we subtract? That. Oh, we can't. We can so do that. That is six. That is six. So As four, remainder. remainder six. Okay, here. 25 into 68. You know what? We know how to count by 25s. Mm -hmm. So let's do it. 25. 25. 50, 50, 75, oh, but that's too much. 75 is too much, so we're just going to go in two times. We know that 2 times 25 is 50, and then we can subtract for a remainder of 18. Okay? This one, 42 into 250. This kind of thing is where we might use compatible numbers, because 42 isn't that far away from 50. How many times does 50 go into 250? We could count. 50, 50 100, 100, 100, 150, 100, 200, 200, 250. 50. So 5 is a good place to start. What's 5 times 2? 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times 4? Is uh, 20. Plus one. 21. And then we subtract. Zero. Look how big that remainder is. But compare it to your divisor. This remainder is still smaller than the divisor. So we're right. We can't make another group of 42. So five, remainder 40. Okay. 880 divided by 41. So, how many times would 40 go into 8? That doesn't go into doesn't. 8. Doesn't. How many times would 40 go into 88? <laughs> That's 2 times. 2 times. What's 2 times 1? 2 times 1, 2. And 2 times 4? Is... And then we subtract and bring down our zero. How many times does 40 go into 60? Once. Just once. So 1 times 41 is going to give me 41. 60 minus 41? 60 minus 41 is 20. I'm going to want to borrow. Yeah. All right. So 19. 21 with a remainder of 19. Okay, and finally here we have 555 divided by 11. Does 11 go into 5? No. Does it go into 55? Mm -hmm. How many times? 5. We know it goes in exactly 5 times, so I didn't even need to round that time. So 5 times 11 is 55. We five. subtract. We get nothing. However, I have to bring down my 5. Does 11 go into 5? No, it does not. It goes in 0 times. And then 5 is our remainder. You have to fill in your place value here. I can't just leave it as 5. If there's another digit in your number, you have to fill in a 0 for your answer. Okay? So 0 times 11 is 0, which means my remainder is going to be 5. 50 remainder 5. 
That's the end of this lesson. Now is the time for you to start your written practice, which is on page 743 of your textbook. Have a wonderful day.